that depends on which dog. Um, the Lab Pyrenees Poodle mixes, so Glitter and Ruby, um, and any sibling from that litter um, since conception. Uh, so they started their training at three days old with early neural simulation. The other dogs, as early as we could get them. Eclipse, we didn't get her until she was about a year and a half old. Uh, the rest of them, we tried to get between 10 and 12 weeks. So it just depends, but it takes about two years for the training from start to finish. Uh, the big one is temperament. So they have to be calm, cool, collected in pretty much any situation. So we look for a dog that's friendly, but not Spastic. Um, they, the larger the better for our program, just because we do for psychiatric and mobility work. But the biggest one is just they have to be chill, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Um, a desire to please and trainability is always good, but you can train anything. You can't teach chillness. The national average for success for a service dog organization is about 30%. Um, we're right along with that, but the reasons a dog would fail, um, one of the biggest ones is they're too friendly, so they love people too much. So a service dog can't solicit attention. So if they want to just go up to every single person and just love them, then we can't always tame that back in. Um, fear is another issue, so if they're afraid of something, can't be a service dog just because you never know if they're gonna be exposed to it. Um, those are probably the two biggest. And then obviously any health issues would automatically disqualify. We've placed all over. I mean, most of our dogs are focused in this area, but we have dogs in Puerto Rico, Nevada, Tennessee, California, um, pretty much all over. And then I mean, we still get to see them. They, they go to their people.